Good day, class. Uh, we are in for ECN 320, which is financial institution. I'm Dr. Marvel Osaibedion from the Department of Economics. From the Department, okay, from the Department of Economics, uh, I'm here to uh, do the course introduction and take session one. The course is actually to help you know more of the scope and the role of institution. In the course, we will, this is the course title and the structure. The first session will be looking at definition, scope, and roles of financial institution. The session two will be looking at an overview of the Nigeria economic system. Then in the third session, we'll be looking at evaluation of central bank system. Then the se session four will be looking at uh, growth and structure of commercial banks. Then study session five will be looking at development bank and merchant bank. The C's will be looking at international financial institutions such as World Bank, IMF, Africa Development Bank. Then also in session seven, we'll be looking at financial statement. Last session eight, we'll be looking at risk and authenticity. And this course will familiarize you to know much about financial institutions, especially Nigeria and international financial institutions. However, we've looked at the course content. It's going to be uh, demo. We'll have to know the concepts. We'll have to, under the application and the theory, you'll be able to know few theory of financial institution, how it relates to the topics. Also, you'll be able to understand the theoretical model on the case study as we present the course. You'll be also be able to comprehend or have access to have existing empirical work of financial institution. Then we move on to the assignment. There will have to there will be a CA. There will be CA tutor mark uh, a CA TMA. Also, at the end of the day, you will be able to write your exams and have your final score. In this first session, the study session one. So that's as I earlier said, we'll be looking at definition, scope, and rules of financial institutional system. Yeah. Introduction, this session will, will be discussing, as I said, definition, we'll have to look at definition of concept in financial institution, we'll look at the school, we'll look at the role of financial institution and system. Now, to begin with here, the learning outcome of this study, at the end of the study, we should be able to discuss the concept of financial system, what financial system is all about. Also, we'll be able to discuss the concept of financial institution, what financial institution and what are the, uh, the institutions that make up this um, concept. Then also we'll be looking at this, we'll also discuss the concept of financial market, which will lead us to session two in our next class. Then here, as well as I will discuss. Now, starting from the concept of financial institution. Financial institution of any country refer to set of instructional and other arrangements that transfer savings from those who generate them, that is the lender, to them, to who that ultimately use them for investment or consumption. That is to say, financial system is until the give and take between the lender and the borrower. From here, the lender are those who generate, uh, who generate the savings. And we already know in the principle of economics that Savings is when a people, the lenders are those who their current consumption is less than their current uh, is less than their current uh, income. If your current consumption is less than their current income, the excess of your of your income that was that is not consumed or that was not consumed will be will be put as savings. That is to say, then those who borrow are those who their current income is less than their current consumption or expenditure. Therefore, they have to borrow, especially in the area of investment, to do their investment. And that is why most times we say the business people are the ones that, cons that, the one that borrow, while the household, most times they are the ones to save. Then also, it's made up of, of a mechanism for organizing and managing the payment 
for current and capital transaction. Financial system also control of any country control the management of payment for current and capital transaction. Current transaction are those transactions that have to do with transaction or current uh, expenditure. Why the capital have to do with those of capital expenditure? Then also, financial system also take is a mechanism for the collection and the transfer of savings by bank and other dis, uh, dispository uh, institution. That means banking institution. That is what they do. They they are the they have is the mechanism that help banks to actually uh, bring cash saving through depo depositor. Then also we move further. Is also an arrangement covering the activities of capital market. Financial institution also is an arrangement that cover capital market with respect to the issue and trading of marketable and transferable long-term security. As you all know, we'll be, we'll be treating that in second session. We'll be looking at types of uh, financial market. We'll deal more on the capital market and the money market. Also, moving on, we also is a financial system is also the arrangement covering the working of money and credit market dealing with short-term investments. I earlier said that um, the financial system or financial institution as a cause actually embedded the two major financial markets, which is the money and the capital market, which we discuss in full detail in our next class or in our next session. Also, and finally, a financial institution and in arrangement covering the activity of financial market complementaries to the capital market, credit and money market, which are essence, provide hedging or risk insurance. Some of these um, um, uh, companies, organizations, financial institutions that fall in these are insurance and mortgage bank and other uh, financial institutions that provide services rather than um, services that are not banking services. Then also we move on. The financial system also is a complex. Comprises of many different type of private set of financial institutions including bank. That is what we say. Include bank, insurance company, mutual fund, finance company and investment banks. All of which are heavily regulated by government. Now when we move on we we'll see the APES a body for each of these uh, market, like for the money market, the APS body for the money market is the CBN, Central Bank of Nigeria. In case of Nigeria, then we look at the capital market. We're talking about Security and Exchange Commission, which is the APS bank. Now, coming to Nigeria, the Nigerian banking is, uh, industry or institution, which is regulated by the Central Bank, Sasela, is made up of the Deposit Money Bank, which refers to a commercial bank. Development Finance Institutions. Then also we have Development Finance Institutions in Nigeria. It's like Agri of, Agri uh, Bank of Industry, Bank of Agriculture. Then a lot of people are proposing Bank of Education in order to help. These are develop for development projects. And also the in other financial institutions which include Microfinance Bank. Microfinance Bank is also a very critical financial institution in Nigeria which was established few decades ago to strengthen the small and medium enterprises in order to enhance their productivity. Then we'll look at the finance company bureau, the chair, discount houses, and primary mortgage institution. On this, these are Nigeria's structure of financial system. Then we move on basic attributes of the ideal financial system. Number one, the, uh, for a financial system to be healthy and nice, they have to. It must, the financial system or a structure must have the following: one, stable. It must stable. There have to be stability. One of the critical issue with financial institution or system of any country is instability. The moment a country or financial system is facing instability, there is that pro, um, tendency that that financial um, the player in that financial system will suffer, therefore affecting the activities of the financial system. Then we move on to efficiency. Efficiency is delivering, service delivering part of, uh, of a financial institution. 
Over the years, we have had issue of uh, inefficiency in our bank system, leading to arrest of some of the um, and directors and uh, CEO of most uh, financial of most commercial banks because of inefficiency and the manipulation in terms of bank operation. Then the third one is competitive. Financial institution or financial system must be competitive in terms of within and outside the country. A competitive environment for financial institution helps to increase the efficiency and stability of that uh, financial institution. Co uh, uh, com competitiveness or competition in the financial system cannot be overruled. A competitive financial system will help to reduce interest rate, will help to reduce service delivery of that financial system. Then we talk about flexibility. Flexibility in terms of service delivery, a loan, and other aspects. And one of the critical advantage of flexibility is it enhance financial inclusion for economic development and for, for industrial growth. Then the last one, the balance. Financial institutions must be balanced in terms of what they do and what they need to do. They have to have a balanced uh, service delivery approach. Then we move on to the next concept of financial institution, which is the financial institution itself. What is a financial A financial institution is an establishment that conducts financial transactions such as investment, investment, command, loan, and deposit. These are the critical elements of function. As we move on in our next session, we'll be looking at some of the functions of the financial institution. But briefly here for my definition, they are, we've noticed that they have three major functions, investment purpose, loan, and deposit. The financial institutions are what make financial market work. I already said financial institution is the big umbrella for financial market. Without the financial institution on a system, the financial market will, will not be able to perform or function. Then, without the financial market, we say will not be able to function to move from funds from one person who save to the person who have productive investment opportunity. Through financial institutions, money lenders are able to transfer their money or move their money from one point to the other for to those who actually need the money, which are the investors. Then also we move further to say in financial economics. A financial institution is an institution that provides financial services services for its clients or members. And that is what it does. An economy we see financial institutions are that institution that provides financial services for its clients and members. Then we move on. We you know deal in, in, in financial institutions there are things we must know. The importance and the critical aspect of financial institution. For economy to grow, I've earlier said in my discussion in some of the area where we called for to come and talk on financial institution, and I've said that ev almost everyone deal with financial institution on daily basis or regular basis. There is no one that is left out, whether in the ville, in the rural area, urban. We deal with financial institution. Everything from depositing of money, taking out of loan, exchanging of currency must be done through the financial institution. Like as we earlier mentioned, the bureau, the chain, uh, the commercial bank, the mortgage bank, all these are involved in these uh, uh, functions that we have mentioned. Then we also look at the most important financial service provided by financial institutions is acting as financial intermediary. And one of the greatest, one of the fastest way a country can grow if a country has a seamless and a, a effective financial intermediary process or business in which money or res, uh, financial services is, is financial services are well uh, interpreted or received. That is a functional financial system must have also an effective financial intermediary that will help to facilitate the activities or the transaction between the lender and the borrower. They are also they are responsible for transferring of funds from investors, as we said, to company in need of those funds. Then also, lastly, we look at financial institutions facilitate the flow of money 
through the economy, through them, like for example, through financial institutions, the CBA monetary policy can be transmitted and implemented. And that, was, that is one of the critical roles of the financial system in the economy. If the CBA and the upper bound roller policy in terms of financial uh, policy that have to involve financial transaction through these financial service institutions, the financial system, uh, the financial uh, institutions were able to roll out this policy and implement it for the Central Bank of Nigeria. And that is why you see the commercial bank in their own um, uh, in their own activity, they have what they call bank supervision in as a, as a department who go around, see the bank uh, policies of the CBN are being implemented. Most financial institutions are regulated by, this, by the government, in case of Nigeria, by the CBN and other agency. Then also they are thought play a critical role in improving the efficiency of the economy. That means they are the great player in the economic development. Then we we'll move on to types of financial institution. There are three critical as we move on, we'll discuss them in detail in session two of our study. Then the first one is the banking institution. These involve deposit taking institutions such as commercial bank. They take deposit and sell loan and manage a uh, deposit and make loan, including bank, building society, credit uh, union, trust company, and mortgage loan company. Then we move on to the second one. The second one is not banking institutions such as insurance, pension, and on that. Then the last one is investment institution. We have investment by underwriter, the stock broker firm, ETC. Then we we'll look at the types of financial institution in Nigeria. In Nigeria, the following types of institution can be, uh, institution can be classified in the following one. The traditional financial institutions, we have the commercial banks, we have the central bank, development bank, my child bank, and insurance company. As we proceed, we'll look at each of them in a subsequent lesson. Then we'll move on as we round up this uh, lecture this morning. Uh, this hour, uh, we'll look at the concept of capital market. What is capital? Uh, ca we we'll look at um, the concept of capital market. Now, uh, financial market. Financial market actually has its rule in two uh, sides. We have the money market and the capital market. The money market is a long time. The financial market facilitates the movement of one which we have said. But moving forward, we said that the capital market is divided into, financial market is divided into two, which is the money and the capital market. Here, the money market refers to, to a collection or group of financial institutions or ancient systems set up to deal with short-term loan. Mainly, they have to do with short-term loan. That is it. The, the, this short-term loan can be on the, in the following a financial instrument. We look at the, they have the treasury bill, the treasury certificate, call for money, commercial, paper, banker unit funds, etc. Then we move on to the capital market. The capital market refers to the collection of financial institutions set up for the purpose of granting long-term loan. Capital market is a very strong hold in a developing country like Nigeria because they fund industrial development and other research in such a way that this would translate into economic growth to economic development. It is a market for long-term instrument which includes market for government security. That is where one of the examples of the government security uh, for Nigeria is the Suku bond. Uh, recently, the financial uh, is, uh, uh, capital market and other financial agencies was able to fund the Suku bond for Nigeria which had to do with construction of roads across the nation. And this was funded through the financial system in Nigeria. It was a domestic uh, uh, form of borrow. Then we look at the market corporate bond, market for corporate shares, and all that. Then in, the, in our next lecture, in our next lecture, we'll look in full detail what capital market is all about and what money market is all about. I hope that we have a good time as we study then familiarize yourself with this concept as we have discussed. Moving forward, we'll go and look at uh, what capital market is all about and what uh, money market and the function of money market, the importance and all that. I wish you all the best as we wait for our next lesson. Thank you very much for listening.